Welcome. This training video will show you how to navigate and use the new Wise Men's Membership Portal. The portal can be used by individual members to edit their personal information. Additionally, as a club, district, regional or area administrator, you can use the portal to update your own personal information, update your club account pages, add or remove club members and update or edit their personal inf information and details and also if you have the necessary security access you can also assign officer positions. We'll begin by logging into the portal. Your username is the email address that wise men hold for you. When logging into the portal for the first time click on the forgot password link. In the username field, enter your email address and then click on the submit button. An, e will, an email will be sent to you with instructions on how you can reset your password. This could take a few minutes and please check your spam or junk folders as it may be delivered there instead of your regular inbox. Once you have reset your password, go back to the portal login screen, enter your email address as your username, the new password you've created, and click on the sign in button. You will now be at your own personal account page. At the top left of your account page, you will see your name, your job title, the club that you are the club that you belong to, your own personal Wise Men identification number, and your member status. If you wish, you can also add a photo to your profile page. You click on the pencil button; it will give you the option to upload one and you can display it as your profile picture. To the right of that box is a change password option. Uh, if you wish to change your password for any reason, you can do that once you're logged in here. Just click on the change password link and it will open a dialog box where you can enter your current password and your new password which you want to change it to. One thing that you should be mindful of is that the password must be at least seven characters long and it has to contain both letters and numbers. Below this is your address information. There's an area to enter some profile information, an area to enter phone numbers, and also if you wish to, you can uh, enter any social profile such as LinkedIn, Facebook, X, Twitter, uh, they can all be added here. To edit your address, if you click on the pencil icon, you can then, uh, there'll be a dialog box where you can update or change your um, address information. This is also where if you want to change your default email address, you can do so here. If you wish to add a, a second address just click on the plus button and it will bring up another dialog box where you can enter an alternate address you can also decide whether or not you want this address to be the preferred mailing shipping or billing address by default if you only have one address in the system then those boxes will already be ticked Likewise, if you wish to edit your profile information, you can do so by clicking on the pencil and you can enter biography information, which company you belong to, 
and what profession you're in. You can also edit your date of birth and phone numbers by clicking on the personal details section. Click on the pencil and you can edit that information as well. And as previously mentioned, if you wish to add any social profile information in there, you can click on the pencil and it will open a dialog box where you can put in your Facebook URL, Instagram, LinkedIn, and most of all the, the common social media profile pages. If you are a club or a regional or district manager uh, administrator, then at the bottom of the page under club management, you will see all the clubs that you have the uh, access to administer. If you're a, just a single club management uh, administrator, then you will only see one club. If your responsibilities cover a larger area, then all the clubs that you have responsibility for will be listed in this, in this section at the bottom of the page. If you have the security access to change officer positions, then you will see here there's a tab at the top, which in this instance says uh, club officer positions. If you click on that tab, these are the uh, these officer positions are positions that you hold. Um, I will explain later how you can change the officer positions for different club members. But on this main profile page, when you first log in, the uh, officer positions tab indicate which positions you hold as an individual. If you wish to add a new officer position to yourself, if you click on the plus button, then there will be a dialog box open and you can choose which position it is that you want to allocate to yourself. and then put in a start date and an end date if it's known and also any notes that we, which you uh, want to add please bear in mind that this on this page on your profile page this is officer positions which you hold we will now explore how you can um, edit and administer uh, clubs and club membership uh, you do this by going down to the bottom of your profile page and clicking on the name of the club which you want to administer. When you click on the club name, it will take you to the club account page. It will tell you at the top the name of the club, which district it belongs to, and also any um, contact information which is um, available for the club. If you wish you can also update the address information for that particular club, add any social profile links if there are any, and also you can update the uh, profile information uh, to put an email address or a website for the club. Again all of those areas can be edited by clicking on the pencil icon which you will see and you'll become familiar with as you learn to use the system. Please note you cannot change the name of a club and you can also not change which district it is attached to. If you need to update any of that information, please contact the headquarters uh, office and they will be able to assist you with making those changes. You will see that in the, next to the About tab, there is a Club Members tab. If you click on that tab, it will show you all the individual club members which would belong to this club. So as you can see, this has three members, Mr. Joseph Black, myself, and Miss Jessica White. So this is how you can see who, belong, who are the uh, individual members of a particular club. If you need to, uh, if you wish to add a new club member, if you click on the add contact link, then it will ask you uh, to fill in some basic information about that person. Always make sure that you choose individual. Please do not choose organization when adding uh, individual club members. It's always the individual. 
enter the first name of the new club member, the middle name if they have one, and the last name or surname. These, the first name and the last name are compulsory fields. You have to enter at least both of those. You don't have to enter a middle name. The organization is the name of the club and that will be assigned automatically. You don't need to complete that. And if it's known, please enter an email address for that person. Um, again, it's not compulsory to enter it, but if you have it, please, please do put it in. And once you've um, entered those details, click on the Save button. I'm going to add a test one in just so you can see how that looks. And once you've uh, added that information, there's no need to change anything else on this uh, box here. Just click on the close. And now you can see that Fred has now been added as a club member to the club Aslan. If you wish to remove a person as being a club member, then do not click on their name, but click on the the, uh, the label next to their name. This could be their job title or uh, any other information which they've entered about their, their profession. Uh, we're going to remove Fred. So if you click on the member, then it will open another dialog box. And all you need to do is click on the X and it will say uh, another dialog, uh, dialog box will open saying are you sure you wish to remove this person and if you click OK then there will no longer be a member of that club and as you can see Fred has now disappeared uh, and is no longer a club member. Their account information is still retained in the system uh, but they're just no longer a member of this particular club. If you wish to update the contact or personal information of a club member, then this time click on the person's name. When you do this, it will actually take you to their own personal account page, which is very similar to the one which you saw when you logged in as yourself. And there you can add and update the information in exactly the same way as on your own personal page. Clicking on the pencil icons will take you into that area and you can add addresses and uh, email addresses and other bits of information. If you wish to assign officer positions to a club member, in this case Mr. Joseph Black, if you click on the officer positions tab, then it will take you to uh, the dialog box where you can add uh, the officer position in a similar way to you saw that you saw on your own personal profile page. So you choose the position, you enter a start and end date, if it's known, and any other additional notes. I'm just going to put one in here. Uh, we're going to give it a end date of one year's time. And I'll just put in a note and save. Mr. Joseph Black has now got the officer position of club president and with the term date of the 2nd of July 2024 until the 2nd of July 2025. If you've made a mistake or you put the wrong dates in, if you click on the pencil, then you can edit any of this information. When you're on the account page of an, an ind individual, another club member, there's two ways you can get back to either your own account page or back to the club account page so you can administer uh, other club members. 
If you want to go back to the club page, then just click on the name of the club here and it will take you back to the club page where you can see all the details about the club and you're back at the area where you can see who the club members are. If you want to go back to your own personal account page, if you go to the very top of the screen, you'll see there's a, a little uh, drop down here. Just go to my account and then it will take you back to your own personal account page. One thing to be mindful of is just as you can't edit your own name information, likewise, if you're editing uh, club members, you cannot change their name. You can add new members, you can remove members, but you can't change the name of an existing club member. So if you're on the club member list, you must either add a new one or remove one, but you cannot edit the name of the person. So if somebody is replacing someone else, they need to have an account, a new account made in their own name and the old person must be removed. If you have uh, higher security access, when you sign into your account, you may see some additional officer position tabs, like in this example here. These are officer positions at the area, region, district level. Uh, when you first log into your own personal page, clicking on those will allow you to assign these to yourself. Um, as you can see here in the area, officer positions. Likewise, if you go to the club and choose any of the club members in that club, I'll click on Joseph. Then you can also assign those officer positions to that person as well. When you've finished, you can either close the browser down uh, or if you alternatively, if you click on your name at the top, you can click on the sign out button and then that will log you out of the system.